Matthew, we'll open it up to you for an opening statement. Uh, just overall, so proud of our guys. You know, I think the uh, the chatter started quickly as the selection show um, commenced, and we found out who we were playing. So I think our guys keeping their heads and staying focused on the on the prize and understanding the importance of um, all the talk in the world can't can't determine the outcome of the game. Um, and the way we played today was just you know it wasn't pretty at times, but uh, just the effort, the energy. Um, for 60 minutes was, was fantastic, and we made enough plays. I thought the ground ball battle was was awesome. Thought we were a little bit jittery early. Um, defense was was outstanding against a very good offensive group. Uh, Coach Fife did a terrific job there, and, and Coach Metz with the offense was uh, was was humming. And guys made plays, and, and that's what we asked them to do. It's you know no one's going to give it to you. You got to go out there and uh, and take it. So they did a terrific job. I, I hats off to. Uh, Marquette on a terrific season and, and uh, Big East champion. Uh, Coach Ample did a wonderful job with, with his team and program. And, uh, um, that's about it. Let's take questions for Michael. Michael, what was the biggest challenge of Marquette for you? Uh, I mean, obviously, they're a fantastic defensive team. I know for a lot of this year, they're ranked number one in the country in defensive efficiency. So for us, uh, the biggest challenge was just able to deal with their pressure they can put on. I mean, they, they press out. And Liam Burns, number 21, is a fantastic player. Uh, number eight for them, great player. So for us, it was just to stick to our system and move the ball. We drew two, move it, and take advantage because they don't slip up very often. They keep it tight. They're really good with their recoveries. Uh, so for us, it was just sticking to the game plan and trying not to get trying to make too much happen at once. So Coach Metz had a great game plan. We came in today offensively, and we just trusted the system, and it really worked out for us. And I think when we stuck to the system is when we uh, made plays. Uh, it was a good team win. Talk about the weather a bit. Do you think it took you guys a little bit to get warmed up, kind of get into a rhythm at the start? Uh, the weather, I mean, obviously, you never know what weather you're going to play in. So for us, it was, you know, weather kind of fired us up in the beginning. You know, snow's falling. Just, it was kind of the environment, you know, like Coach said. There was back and forth before the game. So the weather kind of just added on to that kind of edginess before the game. It was like some adversity. I think we like that. Uh, sometimes adversity makes you focus a little more and gets you just that much more uh, dialed in for the game. So the weather, although, you know, different than Chapel Hill, I think it was nice for us because it, it just felt another thing that we could use to fuel our fire. So, you know, like, okay, everyone's against us. Even the weather here is against us. So I think that's kind of – it was cool for us just to come together. And the energy today was great. Everybody from the coaches, players, guys on the bench, um, we really came together today as just a unit. And I think that our chemistry right now is really good. So yeah, I think the weather, you know, you know, it is what it is. It could be 90 and humid or it could be 40 and, you know, snowing. But either way, uh, we play as a team. At the end of the day, that, that fourth, or the second quarter, excuse me, ends up being huge for one more game. It was yeah, I think uh, that, that that second quarter we settled down. I know sometimes we come out and you know you you do have those pregame jitters, sometimes halftime jitters. But when we settle down, I think that's when we do get into our system. You know, it's like okay, we got all the we got all the you know hiccups out, and now we're ready to play. And then that second quarter, when we're getting the ball through X, when we're drawing two, moving it, and keeping our heads up, is when we're really good. And you know, guys like Steve Montrello, Luke Goldstock, and Attack are always. They open up. They open it up for us middies, and I know from the midfield wise, we're trying to take the pressure and then open it up for them. So when we're when we're playing the six guys out there on the offensive end is when we're at our best, and I think at times today we were able to do that and make enough plays to win. Hey, coach, I just want to get your general thoughts on Marquette. You know, you guys are such a historic program. It's been an NCAA tournament so many years. Just Well, it, hats off to Coach Amplo and his staff. I mean, they, they've done a wonderful job of building this program in four short years and, and to be Big East champions and beat the defending national champion uh, last week and, and um, you know, have all the wins he has, you know, throughout the last two years in particular. I mean, they've grown together as a, as a program and staff and, uh, you know, he, he's one of the best coaches in the country, no doubt. Um, and their kids play so hard. I mean, they are gritty, they're tough, they're scrappy. Um, and, and we knew that coming in, um, but he, he, he's done a wonderful job uh, in the four years. How hard is it, especially with Midwest not being the big destination for the cross players, to find that success in part of the country? Well, you're talking to a guy that, that had his own battles at Ohio State. 
um, when I, I was there for 11 years, we went out and it was uh, basically a, a glorified club program. We started scholarships a year later, and by the time that first scholarship class got to senior year, we went to the NCAA tournament. So I'm very familiar with his journey. Um, it's not easy, you know, going to Columbus or going to uh, Milwaukee to, to play, but you know, there's so many lacrosse players playing the game right now, and, and they want to be a part of a Division One program, and Coach Ample has tremendous energy and, um, you know, sells the kids on, on Marquette as a great university uh, as it is, and, and, um, and you can play great lacrosse as well. How important was that to, I was going back and forth there for a little bit, you guys started winning face-offs, and it's really tough for Marquette to stick with you guys and that sort of thing. Yeah, Stephen Kelly's, you know, he's been a warrior all year. I think it was 12-9 face-off X. Um, you know, he battled, thought the wing play was solid overall, allowed Stephen to get some of those loose balls. Uh, it's huge, you know, for especially for our offense. It settles us down when we get into a little bit of a rhythm. Uh, they came back on us in the fourth quarter a little bit. We went up 10-7. I don't think we, we didn't take the foot off the gas. We actually outshot him 12-5 in the fourth quarter, which was big. Um, and we had one lengthy possession that we didn't capitalize on, and then we had a man up opportunity as well. So we had our chances to kind of extend it a little bit, but they don't go away. Very tough, and, and um, I'm just proud of our resiliency throughout. Anything else from North Carolina? Uh, so moving forward, I don't know if you're going to this right now, but what's the mindset? Oh, uh, we're going to enjoy this one tonight and our flight back. Um, you know, have a day off tomorrow and, and get back at it on Monday. Um, we know we're one of eight teams left, and we're very familiar with Notre Dame. Uh, Air Force is a, a terrific, has had a terrific season as well. So wherever we end up playing, we just know that we're in it, and we'll prepare the same way and, and have the same passion and energy next week. Same question. Oh, uh, I can go for it. I mean, yeah, tackle coaches, thoughts. I mean, we're familiar with Notre Dame. They're a fantastic team in Air Force. Anytime you win 15 games, 15 in a row, uh, they're, they're a fantastic team. So I think for us, it's just to stick to what we do. I mean, you can't control what the other team does. You can only control how you prepare, how you practice every single day. So for us moving forward, I think, uh, you know, enjoy this one today. Uh, and we've been in this spot before, and I think for us, it's just big to realize, you know, good job today, but this isn't where our goals end. And uh, just those to the grindstone this week and prepare wh whoever we get. I think we all believe that if we play our best game, if we prepare, we come out ready to win, then we're going to make things happen. So. Last one, JP. Coach, you mentioned that since you've been in this place before, the finally getting to NCA, what's next for this for, for this Marquette program then to take that next step? Well, I know we had 19 seniors, I think. Um, so he's going to lose some to graduation. But, you know, I think he set the foundation for the program moving forward, and kids want to come to Marquette now. You know, he's put them on the map, he's won a conference championship, he's been in the NCAA tournament, he's the ultimate goal. Um, so that's the next step, is just build off of it and continue to recruit uh, as he has been. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.